I, the irony is that up until a month ago, the city of Houston and Harris County, was we were looking at ha leasing that facility for the homeless population and treating people with, with, that was mentally ill. In fact, we were working to sign a contract. The county and the city were already on the same page, and then we were told that, there was, uh, that the owner was going to lease to another tenant that was going to be paying more money. And we kept trying to find out, you know, who that tenant, potential tenant may be. And then we was told it was, you know, some other organization. But no one has ever said it was, it was, a, it was being leased to a tenant that was going to house children that were separated from their parents. No one, that, that we started getting this buzz in the last week, week or so. We continue, we are now continuing to check. I do not, number one, I don't support the policy. I don't support the policy of stripping children away from their, away from their families. This is Father's Day weekend. It's all about celebrating family. I don't want in the city of Houston for us to be uh, participating in a policy that I think is morally bankrupt. This is not about party. It's not about Democrat, Republican, nothing about that. It's about valuing children. I said when, when people were shooting kids, this is where I draw the line. And we'll throw every possible resource to keep that from happening. When it comes to separating children from their families, I can't support it. I just, I just, I just cannot support it. And quite frankly, I would say to the owner of that, of that property, please, let me ask you in the nicest way, please do not allow your, your facility to be um, a place where we are housing kids that have been stripped away from their families. It's one thing to house kids, and then we're quickly putting them in, like, in foster homes or reuniting them with their family members. That's the way it has been for the last 10 years in this country. This is a different policy. I don't think you strip away the kids uh, and treat them as a pawn to influence the actions of their parents or other parents who are thinking about coming to this country. Not the children. Is the deal done yet? When will you know? Well, we're checking on that. In fact, I'm, I'm planning to, to host a press conference on Monday or Tuesday, uh, very close to that facility. We, uh, I've got my entire staff working on that uh, situation right now to confirm. We're meeting with the, uh, talking with the owner. They're not giving us very clear answers. That's why I am concerned. And I'm asking for a very clear answer, yes or no. Are you housing kids? Are, are you leasing your facility to any organization that will be housing kids that have been stripped away from their uh, parents and using your facility as a detention for these kids? And that's different from the previous policy. It's not Houston. It's not this country. It's not who we are as a people. And it's morally bankrupt. And I don't condone it. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping that the owner of this property, the owner of this facility, will not allow his facility to be used to support this type of policy that, for me, is morally bankrupt. And again, let me emphasize, this is not about party. This is about our children.